New Zealand's public broadcaster is facing backlash after part of a weather bulletin was read in Te Reo Māori. The use of the country's national language is widely embraced, but complaints are increasing. It's a national weather report that divided a population. And in Tamaki, Makoto, Auckland, a few showers, mainly north of the city. However, Tikina Atu to Hamarara keep that umbrella nearby. That report aired on New Zealand's public broadcaster in July, but a similar bulletin this week has drawn criticism. Broadcaster Tero Hiringa Brown presented the weather in Te Reo Māori and English. And in Te Whanganui o Atara, more of the same here. He rangi ka pua pua, some high cloud and some light winds for a change, a high of 12. But despite using both names for major cities, some viewers took offence. One person wrote on Facebook, I am listening to the weather forecast. I have little idea of what the presenter is saying. This is a disgrace. This is New Zealand, not Rarotonga. Another said, as an important source of information for all New Zealanders, I find it irresponsible for media to cater for minority. While another viewer was more assertive, saying, I will not watch the news on one anymore. I am sick of having Te Reo shoved down my throat to appease 17% of the population. Also, we live in New Zealand, not Aotearoa. It is becoming increasingly common and accepted in New Zealand to include te reo in news broadcasting. Tēnā tato katoa, good evening. Kia ora, te huarere mo a popo. Hoki mai ano and welcome back to AM this morning. Great to have you watching. It is 17 minutes after 6. But the debate remains constant. Kia ora ano. Complaints to broadcasters about the use of te reo Māori have escalated this year. And it's not just broadcasting. Chocolate company Whitakers has also faced criticism for repackaging its staple block chocolate in Te Reo. Some are threatening to boycott the popular brand. There is continued support to rename New Zealand its traditional name of Aotearoa. New Zealand's Māori Party will petition the motion in Parliament and there are calls for a referendum. Jessica Maggio, Sky News, Wellington.